Good evening, guys. I decided to um, <coughs> delete the earlier vlog I did and start again because you know how it is. You'll record something, then you'll think back and just think, now nah, I'll try it again. So, here we go. Nemo's been keeping on his chair. We'll stick a sign on the back that says Nemo's chair. Um, anyway. We're doing some extra work on this. Um, the dynamos work. The dynamo lights work, I should say. Well, at least off the battery there, I've tested them. I didn't at first. When I first tested it, I just connected them. Um, where are they? Just connected one wire to that and then touched one on the bracket. Nothing worked. Um, the front light was easy. That was just a blown light bulb. Um, but the rear one turned out to be that there was no ground connection. Because, um, as you'll know from my previous Dynamo light video, that um, they only have the one wire going to the light because they ground out using the frame, so in this case it goes through the metal mud guard, possibly through the rack and through the frame, and to the um, dynamo up here. It could even go through the brake bracket, could, or both. could be both. It just goes, you know, ends up going through the frame and then to the dynamo. Um, but it turned out there was no ground connection between the lamp and the dynamo, and all it was was a um, the bulb in here touches the head of the fixing bolt that fixes it to the mudguard um, which then obviously makes connection to the mudguard and that was all so dirty it just wasn't connecting so I just took all that off, cleaned it up with some steel wool and, and some WD-40 just couldn't drop stuff that is and um, put it all back together now they work, I haven't tested the dynamo yet because there's no tires on the wheel to test it with. Uh, but the tires are proving to be a problem because they're not a standard British size. I've just got sort of like the standard 26 inch British size. Um, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but if I hold the camera here so you can look, you may notice that the wheel leaning up against the table behind the bike with the tyre on is actually a little bit bigger than these ones um, I did find a size on the original tyres but I'm not sure I'm going to find a pair here um, so the only option I've got is to change the wheel which isn't going to be as simple as just drop a new wheel in <laughs> because the wheel there which came out of the old Herc which may end up going back in Herc um, drops straight down and ends up right back here on the dropouts and that chain is still far too slack to even make the bike rideable um, but yet it's not with this wheel and I don't, don't actually understand what's going on there because the wheel sprocket the wheel sprocket the sprocket on the wheel actually looks exactly the same size as that one but um, I might have a count tomorrow Although I am supposed to be going to Mum's earlier tomorrow, so I don't think I'll get time. Um, so I probably won't do anything to this, or anything further to, um, to this, um, until Monday. The only other option that I've got, because I did find a chrome steel wheel with a six-speed freewheel on, I could just turn this into a six-speed that wouldn't be too hard to do. Like I said, I've just got to whack a derailleur on it. Um, I'm going to sort that front brake cable out because that being stretched like that is actually annoying the hell out of me and my OCD is playing up. <laughs> so that's going to get changed. One way or another, that'll be changed. Um, so yeah, I may do my own little custom work on it if the wheel I've got fits then it would just be a case of finding a front wheel, which Biggles is actually going to find me one up tomorrow, hopefully. Because um, really that wheel is shit anyway, isn't it? It could do with two new wheels. On the back one, I might be able to... Well, I don't know. It's just as rusty, so yeah. It probably would benefit from a couple of better wheels. I 
could put this one in, but that hub isn't very good. Or at least the bearings aren't, but what I could do... I said the same size nuts and axle. And actually, the axles look completely identical from here. I could just take the guts out of that hub and put on this one. Possibly... Oh, 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 oh the hubs are slightly different. Might work, might not work. Um, because the bearings and that in that one aren't the best. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll see what Biggles can come up with. I've got some other front wheels as well I can chuck in this if push comes to shove. But that's the only thing that's holding it back is finding tires for the wheels. I've got the original bald front tire, but I don't really want to put a bald tire back on it. And the back tire, well, that's. I've never seen a tyre in that state, actually. Well, actually, I have seen worse, but not very often. Um, not only is it bald, it's bald in places so badly it's down to the um, thread of the tyre. And the side walls, I wouldn't say ripped, I would say they're pretty much shredded in several places. Um, and the tube that was in it is punctured, so... Yeah. <laughs> That tyre is beyond use. Because um, when I b first bought it off Beagles, he handed me a pump and said, try pumping the tyres up. And I looked at the back tyre and I said, no chance. What <laughs> <laughs> was my answer to that? Absolutely no chance. <laughs> but yeah, the lights actually work. And they look work pretty brightly off that 4.5 volt battery. So once you get that dynamo going at its speed, they should be... Um, adequate enough. I am going to put the battery lights that are currently on the on Mr. Hercules on um, Mr. Frenchy here. I haven't thought of a name for this one yet. <laughs> Old Herc is downstairs. I think he can have his wheels back. I doubt I'll use these ones. We've got a pile of tubes down there which are all, all also too big. Not that that matters too much do what we used to do when we were younger and fold the tubes over. <laughs> then you end up with a lump in your tyre though when you do that. Besides, I actually noticed this back wheel does have a slight buckle in it. But it does have a broken spoke. So, um, if I can find another wheel to put in it, So I could easily convert this to a six-speed. I must need to chuck that wheel in. It'll be roughly the same size as these. I tried a 26-inch mountain bike tire, and they're too small. So this is sort of <laughs> somewhere in between the sizes. It's a really weird size. Um, but I don't know if it's because back then, you know, Europe and Britain were using two different scales of measurement. Or if perhaps Moto B Kane just had their own, you know, did their own size of wheels. I don't know. But uh, anyway, it's proven to be a bit of an arsehole. <laughs> but, like I said, I do like it. It does need a clean. I actually think I'm going to enjoy riding that. But yeah, anyway, did I say I was going to take the battery lights off of Herc? Yeah, I did. Um... Stepdad, he was very nice to me today. He, um, I just mentioned, um, because we were in Lidl's and they've got one of their basket things out full of LED bulbs, various LED bulbs. And I just said I was thinking of um, upgrading them in the bedroom light, because I used the bedroom light quite a lot. It, you know, I was using the halogen GU10s. And um, found these LED bulbs in there that were 5 watt, which apparently is equivalent to um, a 50 watt standard bulb, give or take. <laughs> um, well, actually, I've I've already used them, so well, they're actually in the light fitting now, which is why I'm standing here. So we'll see for yourself. These are the um, LED bulbs. It's actually lighting the room up quite nice, isn't it? 
And I actually have to say, to look at, they are quite bright. It's like staring at one of those hal halogen bulbs, actually. Um, according to the packet, they use 90% less energy. So, as I do often have this light on when I'm moving around the flat at night, that would save me on my electric bill, probably, quite a lot. Now, I am considering upgrading the light in here, because I've got that um, D-tube style light in here. Same as what I've got in the bathroom, basically. No shade on it, because I fell off one day. I just I w Literally, I woke up one morning and found the shade on the floor, so the screw must not be in properly or something. So I just left it off, because it was actually brighter with it off. Um, but what I want to do and see the light reflecting on there, is um, get a similar light fitting to what I've got in here, you know, GU10 halogen light fitting, um, but probably a four lamp one instead of a three, and put up there in place of that, and then put four LED lights in there. Because, yeah, granted that light probably doesn't use that much electric anyway but with LEDs in there, and I'll use a lot less actually I'll have to check the stickers to be honest I can just about read it <laughs> from down here with my eyes yeah, I can't see the wattage though, not on the stickers this is telling me the max voltage and whatnot, and I've got a bug crawling across the ceiling. I don't want, I'm not shining you at the ceiling, I'm pointing you at the ceiling, so that be a bit bright to look at. Um, if they ever do end up doing some decent bulbs for these sorts of lights, or for anything similar, um, then I'd upgrade these. If I could find single GU10 spotlights like these, and I would upgrade them and put LEDs in them. Because, um, well, if three of them are going to light up a whole room like that, that should be enough for that desk. That's actually pretty good. There's... I think that might be a teeny bit dimmer than the halogens. But I don't work in here. I just need enough light to see when I'm, I don't know, getting undressed for bed and... Maybe if I need to get something out of the cupboard, which doesn't actually look that much different to me, to be honest. Yeah, I've never had one pointed on the bed, because when I lay in here at night, sometimes I have the main light on, and when I'm trying to watch TV, you just have that poxy light shining in your eyes, so that's why none of them point at the bed. That's why I've got that one up there, actually. Something like that I could do with, but I have these GU10 lamp holders on because um, they would be good to change in the um, lounge might look a bit tidier as well and a bit nicer you know, put them up there and put some LED bulbs in them not to save on some juice I did think about doing it in here in the hallway but this one isn't used very often when it is on, it's on for like, I don't know, a couple of minutes at most, unless I forget about it. Um, and there are only 40 watt light bulbs in there, so... But I could, you know, if I just wanted to upgrade it, I suppose. Ooh, pardon me. I was not supposed to leak out. Nor was that one. <laughs> yeah, I could have I wanted to. I just want something to look better up there. Which, uh... I don't think I'd actually be saving much money-wise. But uh, I'd rather upgrade the lights I do use the most, such as the lounge light. Um, lounge and the bedroom light, the only two lights I use the most. Well, and the spotlights now, I do use those quite a lot. Not so much those ones. But... Um, I'll do these ones. In fact, if they 
there is such because um, LED bulbs that big for lights like that then I could actually change those for LEDs just for the hell of it but um, decent ones are not too cheap um, in my town here they can range from £3.99 up to look sort of like £6.99 depending on the bulb and the wattage and because they only really do them in decorative bulbs at the minute in town for sort of like lamps like that so they're not too bright um, Lidl's on the other hand are doing some brighter ones that's where those three came from I did find a lot of 23 watt ones I can't remember what that was in um, LED watts though um, I can just remember the 23 number <laughs> which is what it was the equivalent to anyway um, I still haven't transferred any money from PayPal for the simple reason they want me to wait 72 hours um, mum and stepdad have paid me back half of what I loaned them anyway during the week last week sorry, the week before so I just figured ah, I don't really need it, I'm just going to leave it in PayPal this is the plan I'll leave it in PayPal I've almost got £40 in there ooh, that's the big spenders I know <laughs> um, and I'll post everything out Thursday when I get paid and I'll use that to, I don't know, treat myself to something off eBay, or save it just leave it in there and save it and get, you know, really treat yourself to something. Um, perhaps a Lego train set that I want to get next year. Because uh, they're not cheap. They are really not cheap. Even second-hand vintage sets are not cheap. Because I do want to get a railway line in here. That would be... That would really top off my Lego collection, I think. So, sofa's going. That's going to go. Don't know where I'm going to put it, don't know what I'm going to do with it, but one way or another, that is going. Before Christmas, I want it gone. Out of here. Because <laughs> um, my plan is, is to put... I'll go in there briefly on here, but I'll go in, into it in more detail on the um, LEGO channel. But basically train station down there and I'll do a circular loop that'll come across the floor so I could either, I don't know, step over it or probably have a removable section in here actually under the tables and then back round so it'd just be in a circle like that but the station would be up there somewhere um, that's the, it's not going to be a very big train line and I could probably do two circulars actually or put a siding or two in, you know, something like that, underneath the tables here. But, um, yeah, that's the plan for that. He's got bloody sleep, look. <laughs> Bless him. Yeah. Oh, the um, shelving on the landing has finally gone. So I could get a couple of bikes up here and store them on the landing out the bloody way not that anyone's actually complained about any of them being locked out back but I'd rather have a couple up here out of the way uh, oh pardon me oh and um I didn't have to make a box for the trailer because um me and my stepdad, after we'd made the um, bookcase for mum, we did that today while I was over at mum's, um, we went back over with the intentions of making a wooden box for the front of my trailer. You know, I took all the measurements that I needed. Um, and then he saw an old bathroom medicine cabinet that came in a, the car boot lot we bought for a few months ago now. And it's just been sitting in the workshop ever since. And I thought, yeah, I could use that. It's already got a door and everything built on it. All I'd have to do is screw it to the front of the trailer. But um, being a cupboard, the door would open that way, like those cupboards. 
whereas I what really wanted a lid. That would have made things a lot easier. Then there wouldn't have been no risk. The door flying open and everything dropping out of it. And but then I happened to look across the um, workshop and remembered the bread bin that was sitting there. So, it's not super duper 100% ideal, but it saves having to fabricate one. It's got a bloody good magnet there. It does hold that lid down quite well. So I don't think that would bounce open very well on the road. But it's, um, it will fix the trailer pretty well and it will do the job. And I've got, even with a battery in the corner, I'll still have plenty of room to put the ratchet strap in, the bungee cords in, and perhaps a few spanners when I do use the trailer, just in case something falls off or breaks or whatever. So... Obviously, I'm going to paint it. It's not going to stay blue. <laughs> um, I will paint it. I've still got half a tin of black paint left. Might be enough to go over that. That may actually preserve it a bit, actually. So, yeah. That's... It's sort of like a pre... It's a Blue Peter style. Here's one I made earlier. <laughs> so, what I'll do, I'll just... If you picture that on the front of the trailer, on the outside, so we've got the tow bar going across there, that's where that'll go. Um, plus this is actually smaller so it won't be as heavy, because I was going to go across the full width, which would have been two foot long. So um, I'll put it up against the trailer and I'll put screws in from that side, the trailer side, into that. And I'll put plenty in to make sure it holds. And then all I've got to do is... Um, drill a hole for the power cable for the lights and the job's done <laughs> simple then I can properly um, connect all the crocodile clips on to clip on the battery they're already down in the shed so I can do all the wiring properly and the switch properly and what not so yeah quite looking forward to doing that during the week as well in the trailer will be complete. Itchy, 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 itchy. Might have to get my pants off and find the back scratcher. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to talk about. I didn't do a lot yesterday. I was at Mum's yesterday as well, but. I want a lot to do. Stepdad was up in the loft um, laying track and joining the track together for his model railway. And he, I think he got as far as starting to put the underlay under it as well. Um, but he wants to get the books out of the way, which is why we decided to do the um, bookcase today. So those shelving units basically, basically got dismantled and converted into a bookcase. Port to ceiling as well, huh, both of them. Um, I think we'll get a good number of my mum's books on there. That'll be nice for her, because what's the point in having a collection if you can't access it? Because it's up in the loft, in boxes, getting damp, getting full of cobwebs and spiders, and I don't know, I think it'd just be nice to have them out for a change, personally. Plus, the, well, the ulterior motive is we can get the books out of the loft and out of the way. <laughs> More room to do the trains, because at the moment, obviously the middle of the... the um, um, I'll start again. The model railway tables are going all the way around the edge of the loft. It's probably about the width of this lounge, actually, the loft. But nowhere near as long it's probably a few feet or so shorter so it's not a very big attic to be honest but obviously the centre is all free it's about that no the tables are actually a little bit higher than that because stepdad's taller than me not much higher than this a few inches higher and everything underneath is pretty much stacked like these tubs from floor to the table and there's just boxes and boxes and it's a mix of junk 
mum's books, Christmas decks, it all really, you know, because when they moved in, anything that came out of the loft, from the old house, went in that loft. So nothing really got sorted. It actually hasn't been sorted in years, so... Which is actually bad, because that means all the times they've moved, they've just been lugging the same shit around all the time. Instead of actually taking the time to sort it, before they moved out, although, granted, they didn't get the time in some circumstances. Um, especially when you have asshole landlords that don't want to listen to reason, but we won't go into that one. <laughs> uh, yeah. Here's a... Well, I've mentioned about LED lamps being a money saver on your electric bill, but... You can save money on clothes. Look at these. Pretty much brand spanking new jeans that I paid three pounds something for out of a charity shop. So, so it's a good idea if you want to save your pennies to go to a charity shops, thrift stores, second hand shops, because you can very often find what you're looking for in those. Well. If you're not a proud person, I'm not a proud person, I don't care. <laughs> so long as I can find what I'm looking for and it does the job, I don't really care where it comes from. As long as it's not cheap shit from China. Good stuff from China, because there, there is good stuff that actually comes out of China, you know. A lot of big brands do have their stuff, or parts for their um, products made in China. And um, that's good quality stuff, so you can't dis China too much. But the problem is, um, people cotton on to making, you know, rip offs of other products, products rather, and uh, make cheap, shitty versions and sell them. They either sell them, you know, under a cheap name, knock off name out of. Stupidly reduced price, which is what you often find on eBay, or they will actually knock off a leading brand and sell it as that leading brand, even though it isn't. Because you can get fake iPhones, you get fake everything, you know, and it's only fake because it's badged as an iPhone, even though it isn't. So, but, uh, didn't actually know how bad the cheap Chinese stuff was until I started watching YouTube videos and watching people tear them down, these electronics engineers and whatnot, tear them down and explain just how dangerous they actually are or can be. That's why I won't actually use any cheap LEDs bought on eBay. At least I know <coughs> the ones I bought for the light fitting in there from Lidl um, they weren't too cheap actually, I think they're three ninety nine each, but they were doing two for seven pounds, so you could save a pound buying two. <coughs> so, but, um, with a lot of the cheaper ones, I don't seem to have any protection. Um, because it's very easy to get a shock. Because on a lot of cheap ones, it seems, they don't have anything over the LEDs to prevent you from touching them. And a lot of the LED fronts are live, so you can get a shock from them. Which is uh, another reason why I won't touch them. But uh, with those ones I got, there's a, gla a sheet of glass, just like a normal GU10 bulb. Sheet of glass going right across the front, so you can't actually touch any of the components inside. So there's no risk shock. No shock risk, rather. Risk shock. I must be getting tired. Oh, it's midnight. <laughs> That's why I'm getting tired, then. Anyway, I just thought I'd do a quick vlog. Well... I say quick vlog, it's nearly half an hour. It is half an hour. <laughs> anyway.
I'll say thank you for watching, good night, and don't forget to like and click that subscribe button. Talk to you again soon. Hi guys, bring my 30 here. <coughs> Excuse me, bit of a frog in my throat. <coughs> okay. Well, as you can see, I've started to change the corner. I've uh, put my lifeboat station in on this corner, or lifeguard station, I should, should say. There's a jeep in the side, but it's not a mock jeep, so I may have to change that and put a mock jeep in there. It's got that in there. I've put the blue lights on top, but that's about all I've done. Um, put the sand base plates down. I've just got to get the blue in. I haven't got blue. Uh, still got that satellite cable to tack to the wall out the way, and then I can get. Ooh, excuse me. Then I can get this green base plate here, the big one, up in that corner, and I'll be good for base plates. Well, actually, it's not too important that I get that up there because I'll probably take those up to build on anyway. Um, got that to do to change. I'm going to build a mock one first. Same as that. Uh, started to repair my snack shack. <laughs> um, a few more bricks to go, and I may actually do some mod um, modifying just to make that stronger. Um, oh, but the biggest thing I'm going to talk about is that this side is going to change. Um, one thing I have always wanted to get for my LEGO collection is a train. I don't know why, I've just always wanted a, wanted a train. So, But, as you know, I lack space. So, while I was at my mum's yesterday, I was in the attic, with my stepdad, and I'm watching him lay his um, railway track out for his double O gauge model railway. And I was actually running ideas around in my head on how I could uh, get a train running in this lounge. Now, I did come up with one idea. The first idea was to run a, a network of wooden boards all around the top of the top of this room and then run the train all the way around the room. The problem with that is I don't have enough room above the door. Um, and my stepdad suggested to go across the door and just make a removable section. Which I thought, yeah, I could. But then I'd have the problem with the window. Well, that window, those, and that window. So I thought, well, that's not really a plausible plan either. So, what I've decided to do... I'm going to get rid of this sofa, because, well, as you can see, it's just a dumping ground. Always has been, always will be. I have to clear it on the very rare occasion I actually have someone visit, because I'm usually out, so not really anyone visits. Um, and it's getting rather old, rather worn, rather it's got tears and splits and I think it's got three feet missing, so I think it's time to get rid of this, to free up this corner. And my plan is to probably put the train station up in that corner somewhere, or down along that wall. And um basically run a circular track that will come somewhere across the floor here in front of the or turn and go in front of those drawers under the table and back round again. Um, those 
so I can open the drawers. I will make a wooden platform or something to raise them so I can open the drawers over the track. So um, the downside to that is I wouldn't be able to put any trees or anything in there. Uh, but that will require a lot of the, these um, 32 by 32 base plates. Um, what will I do about the bit across the floor? I was probably going to make that a removable section somehow. So I can just take that section out and perhaps slide it under the table when I'm not wanting to be a big kid and play with the train. And then when I want to be a big kid and play with the train, I can just put the section in, sit in the middle of the floor here and play choo-choo trains. <laughs> Well, that is one of the few things I have wanted since I was a kid, actually. I always wanted one when I was a kid. A Lego train. Um, well, actually, the other idea I had was to um, perhaps clear that shelf, as, this, as that's one long shelf, and just make an end-to-end -end track. But I thought, nah, I could make a complete circular. Now, if I could actually f um, find a home for them, those drawers I could move, and I could build like a little t um, country scene or something, you know, with trees and bushes and a little vehicle road underneath the tables. So I could have like a double scene. <laughs> that, that's just an idea. Actually, I think it might actually be a lot easier if I actually made like a semicircle loop and had the track go this side of the table leg. Um, yeah, it'd be a bit awkward to go down the front there, wouldn't it? I don't really need to go that big. I just thought I'd be a big kid and play with one. <laughs> and I've got a couple of extra street lights to put in. Apart from that, I haven't done a lot. I did find my phone box. My phone booth, as some people may know them. My American style phone booth. Um, I did want to modify that a little bit. Take these um, one by one bricks out of the front here. So I can at least get a minifig. Whoops. Get a minifig in there. Um, I wouldn't mind finding some a bit of brick to put on the top there, because that's rather worn out. But yeah, I'm not sure where I'll put this yet, but it will go there. I've made some Lego traffic cones up for the workmen. Six orange. I should have some more orange ones than that, and I don't know where they are. Uh, and six yellow ones. Uh, like I said, I should have some more orange ones somewhere. They're not in my drawer of cones, and they're not in the boxes I've just sorted out, so... Um, now, don't when I'm poking around uh, in my boxes and whatnot, they'll turn up. So, just want to show you what little work I've done. As soon as I've got the snack shack repaired, that will be going over the um, far side of the beach. Um, and then I'll just have a like a divider wall I want to put in of some sort. I haven't decided yet. Or I could actually put the snack shack right up against the wall. I don't know, I'll have to s just sit it on top there and move it around and see where I like it. Um, but I think my lifeguard station does actually fill this corner up nicely. You can't have a beach without lifeguards. I think the fort before is a bit overkill though for this dinky little beach, but... Never mind. <laughs> we have to find my lifeguards up now. Um, not that that matters, because there's no water yet. They haven't paid their water bill. <laughs> right. Anyway, if you like the video, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe for more videos. And um, stay tuned, obviously, for more updates on this area plus
that area. The train is a long way off in the future. That's probably not going to happen until... Well, no, actually it won't happen until next year, but I can clear this corner because I... I know it's still a bit early, but I do need somewhere to put the Christmas tree. I didn't think of that when I changed all my lounge around, but never mind. That doesn't matter. Um, as I said, if you like the video, please like the button. Hit the like button, rather. Not like the button. Well, you could like the button if you want. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, it's getting late at night. <laughs> I'm getting tired. So... Subscribe if you haven't already for more videos. Thank you again for watching, and I will talk to you again very soon, I hope. Bye for now.